All right, hey guys, um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make, well, I'm going to teach you a tutorial about um, the attractor in Cinema 4D. All right, let's get started. So, open up a new scene, and the first thing that you want to do is come under this light and pick floor. It's going to give us our floor here. All right. And then next thing that we want to do is we want to create a sphere. So click and hold on the little square. And here's the sphere. Drag it out. We can make it a bit bigger. I'm going to change the radius to 200. Yeah, 200 should be fine. Good. Readjust that. All right. I'll, I'm going to push it up and you'll see why later. All right. Next thing that we're going to do is click on the floor. Um, if you're in 11.5, um, right click on the floor, go MoGraph Tags and go Rigid Body. If you're in R12, come under Simulation and click Collider. Um, and then do the same for the floor, except for R12, um, Simulation, Dynamics and then click collider again all right um we're gonna grab another sphere except we're gonna change the size of it to 50. <clears throat> um click the sphere and if you hold alt come under mograph and get a cloner oh never mind don't hold alt that was a fail um drag your little sphere into the MoGraph cloner and <clears throat> you're gonna get these they're gonna be one on top of each other we don't want that um, under mode click grid array and then we have three by three by three and that's good um, under transform uh, where's Oops, change that. All right, now that we have, just ignore that, sorry. Um, now that we have our sphere in the cloner object, MoGraph effectors and grab a random effector. And this is gonna randomize the balls. Under parameters, check scale check uniform scale and put it to minus one mm, this is a little big minus 0.5 yeah minus 0.5 all right um <clears throat> now uh put a rid a rigid body on the sphere and if you're in 11.5, you have to put it on the cloner object, not the sphere. All right. Now, if, oh, we got to move this up first. All right. Now, if we go back to beginning and press play, they all just fall down. This is where our um, attractor comes in. So, come under this little square all these little circles shooting out of it and grab an attractor um you want to drag this right into the center of your sphere um come into fall off on your attractor change it to sphere and um now if we click play you see that nothing happens and i'll show you why <laughs> the size of the sphere is too small so change it from 100, 100, 100 to 1,500, 1,000, oh my god, 1,500, 1,500, 1,500. Yeah, now if we click it, it still <clears throat> doesn't do anything. And that's because if you come into object, the strength of it is only 10. Change that to 15,000. <clears throat> now if we play they go right up around the ball and um, that's a little too fast so I'm going to change mine to 
10,000 I think will work. Uh, oh, we gotta lower down the speed. I'm gonna lower down my speed to 15,000. And now they will move slower and that's what we want. All right, make your timeline to around 150 frames. All right, um, now I'm gonna create a material by double clicking in this place or file new material. I'm gonna double click on the material and I'm gonna just check the luminance channel and it's gonna make it all white. I'm gonna click and drag my luminant material onto the big sphere. If we render, oh, my bad. I was messing around with this thing earlier. <laughs> we don't want it like that. All right, there we go. Um, now you can see it's just a big bright circle. Now, what we're gonna do is click the random effector and click and, tr and sh click shift and then click the sphere copy control v uh, copy and paste it so edit copy and paste it f three times or control c for copy and then control v for paste so i got one two three well technically now i got four of them all right so now now we got four we need to make four different colors Now, oh, one more. All right, now I'm just gonna um, pick random colors. I'm gonna go with a um, reddish, orangish. I'm gonna put reflection, uh, 80%. Texture, for now, 80%. And then I'm going to do the same thing for these ones, except they're all going to be different colors. Random. Random. Oh, whoa, what happened here? Oh. My bad. Non gradient for now. Sorry kind of retarded um, reflection uh, for now color they're kind of like purplish and <clears throat> kind of green and yellowish all right, um, if you're wondering what Fresnel does, um, it makes the reflections so it goes from the outside really reflective to the inside, not really reflective. Um, I don't know, I think it looks a lot better because if we take off um, the Fresnel, you can see the whole thing is extremely reflective and then so you put a reflect for Fresnel on. I don't know, I just like it more. You don't have to put it if you don't want to, um, your decision. But now we've got four different textures, and I'm going to put, uh, sorry, that was my phone. Um, I'm going to put these four textures on a different one each time here. All right. So now that all four of these have different, um, textures I'm just gonna click the cloner object and I'm gonna rotate them so none of them are in the same position just rotating 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 um, rotate all right I'm just gonna close all these little things all right so now if we render this is what our scene looks like think we can move the floor down just a bit yeah all right and to make it nicer I'm gonna create one more texture by double clicking again 
and I'm going to make 10% reflection without Fresnel and just black. I'm going to put that on the floor. I oh, know, makes it nicer. Now you can see what's happening down here, up here. Um, one second, I just want to try a little experiment with global illumination. Um, uh, one, 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 low, low. Ooh, that looks really nice. But anyways, I'll talk about that later or whatever. Um, okay. Now, if we click play, they all explode everywhere and they all, they get onto the sphere here and they surround it. Um, you can see some went all over the place. So in our attractor, uh, we have to turn it back up to 15,000. Sorry guys. Um, so now if we click it again, we still explode. 20,000. Alright, hopefully that does it. Oh, is that 2,000? No, it's 20,000. 200,000? I guess you gotta put it on 200,000. Wow. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, and uh, you can animate the attractor if you want um, to make the balls if you want the one of the sides to be open for like an intro to put a text um, what you do is it let's say you want it to play they all come up surround the ball and then around two seconds in put a keyframe um, sorry advance around five seconds just drag the attractor back a bit just drag the attractor back, put another keyframe, and then drag it forward a bit, um, however long you want the text to, to be showing or whatever. Click another keyframe. And um, now if we click play, they go around, and then when it hits, they go back. Do you see that? I'll show you again. Goes around, goes around, goes around. Right there. They all go to the back side. And it leaves it open. Um, but yeah, that's pro basically the tutorial for a nice intro or a tractor scene. Uh, yeah, so hope you guys liked it. Comment, like it. Got any questions, any suggestions for other tutorials, let me know. Um, subscribe if you're not. It really helps. And yeah, um, I think that's all I got to say. Sorry, I haven't been posting a lot of tutorials. Um, here I'll show you what I've been making. I've been um working on making. I'll just hide all this hair. All these little red dots are just um, viewable in render or thing. I've been modeling my face. It doesn't really look like me. That side's kind of messed. But yeah, um, there's a guy called Mike Bauer. Um, he has a website. I don't really know the name. It's like www.bauervision or mikebauer.com or something. He has a whole bunch of good tutorials. But, um, yeah, that's basically what I've been doing. And, yeah, sorry. I've also been working on another project, but I don't have time to show you guys it. Sorry. Um, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Alright, peace, guys.